What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the NH525 Pocket Drone. It is a foldable 720p camera, Wi-Fi FPV, one key to take off and one key to land, altitude hold, beginners RC quadcopter ready to fly. All right guys, so here we go. I have everything out of the box. So taking a look at the quadcopter, it is folded up and it is looking pretty compact and pretty small and very light as well. It's got the foldable props as well as the fold out arms. So let's go ahead and unfold the arms just like that. Very easy to do. So now it is looking like a nice looking quadcopter here. We got a power on and off switch on the top. In the front, we got a couple of LEDs looking like eyes. And there's the camera. The camera is manually tilt adjustable to about 45 degrees down and zero degrees up. There's a couple of landing gear on the front arms, but nothing on the rear. There's, however, a couple of protrusions on the body towards the rear, so it will still stick that landing really nicely. Uh, brushed motors, the motors are embedded inside of the arms. There's some ventilation holes on all of the arms there. Taking a look at the bottom, we see that there is an antenna. I think this is the Wi-Fi antenna. I'm not sure if that is the receiver antenna or the Wi-Fi antenna, but there is an antenna here. There's an LED light right above the battery bay, and here's the battery that slides into the battery bay just like that, and it clicks into place. And to remove it, just press down on this little lever here, and it slides right out. You can pull it right out. I'm just gonna leave that battery in there. So that is just about it for the quadcopter. So here we have a second battery. So they provide you with two batteries and each of these batteries supposedly lasts for about 11 minutes. That's what the document says, but we're here to test that out here today. Uh, it is a 3.7 volt, 1200 milliamp size battery and you charge it up via a micro USB port there. So very nice. I use the charge cable that was provided now this one does have a red led light that turns on when it is charging and it turns off when it's finished charging but i was charging two batteries at the same time using just another micro usb cable does not indicate if the battery is full or not so I unplugged it plugged it back into here to finally test if it's full or not so here's the battery cable as well and let's see what we get we get some prop guards and these are some minimalistic prop guards so what you do is just click it from the bottom and it clicks into place so very minimalistic i don't think it hinders the performance of the quadcopter and if you are a beginner i do recommend that you use these prop guards it will help you to protect the props and in turn help to protect the motors uh what else we get in the box we get a bag of goodies we get two extra props and a screwdriver and we do get the user manual tells you everything you need to know to get this quadcopter off the ground also give it the qr code to download the wi-fi phone app and the wi-fi phone app is called it's called the Wi-Fi UAV phone app, free downloadable app in the app store. So go ahead and check it out. And finally, we get the remote control. Now the antennas do flip out, but like most of these quadcopters, the antennas are just for looks. Antenna is embedded within inside of the remote control. To turn on the remote control, just flip over this handle which serves also as a phone clip and the power turns on which is pretty cool in my opinion and i think you can also stand it up no it will fall down anyway you can put your phone on here and it pulls your phone really well i got an iphone 6 plus and it holds it really nicely so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off for the demo so there's the emergency stop button one key to take off and one key to land here's the photo button and here's the video button i tried it out and the physical photo and video button does not work you're gonna have to use the wi-fi phone app to take photos and videos on the top we have the speed changing button we have the one key to return button we have the headless mode button and we have the flip button all right 
and bolt sticks to the bottom and in will calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter and we don't have a sequence to arm and disarm the motors because we have the one key to take off and one key to land the control distance is set to be about a hundred meter distance so this is not one of those that you can go far out this is one of those that you want to keep within line of sight so it is a beginner's rc quadcopter so let's go ahead and go for a little demo flight with the nh525 all right so here we go let's go ahead and power this thing up we got clear led lights in the front and red led light in the rear so let's go ahead and power up the transmitter up and down on the throttle completes the binding process bolt sticks to the bottom and in will calibrate the gyro so we are just about ready to take off but first let's go ahead and start up the phone app i'm going to be using my ipad so go into your settings go into the wi-fi uh, and look at that i am already connected to the wi-fi 4k network from a previous connection and once again here is the app it's called the wi-fi uav app tap on it and you see the road here and either calibrate or start so you can actually calibrate the gyros using the phone app solo as well let's hit start and we got wi-fi fpv and it's looking pretty good looks like i got not that much of a field of view so let's go ahead and see if we can take some photos here i am looking at the ground so i'm going to lift it up a little bit and take a photo with the phone app and there you go taking a photo there photo there there we go and photo of the car the car looks huge so the field of view is not really big and there we go taking some photos there and now let's double check and see if the hard remote takes photos as well just to make sure see what i mean yeah oh it did work oh look at that Oh, look at that. Delayed reaction, but it did work. Let me do it one more time here. Yeah, it does work. Let me go ahead and screen record so you guys can see the screen. I'm always doing that really late. Okay, there we go. So one more time so you guys can see the screen flip over. Here we go. There you go. Yeah, so we can take photos with the hard remote as well as the Wi-Fi phone app. Let's see if we can take a video. I'm gonna hit the video icon on the hard remote. And nothing is happening so far. Nope, it has not initiated a video. So let me hit that video icon on the app and there's a red counter. So I know I am taking a video here yeah there you go i'm gonna go ahead and leave the ipad here and we'll come back to that but first let's go ahead and check out all of the core functions of the quadcopter one second i'm gonna put my landing pad right there i'll be right back okay here we go got the landing pad there so bolt sticks to the bottom and in once again calibrates the gyros uh, it doesn't have a sequence to arm or disarm the motor since we have the one key to take off and land button. So let's go ahead and press that. There we go. All right. It's got a slight forward drift. I think that is the wind here. Let's see what speed I am in. The speed control buttons here. Okay, we are in speed number one. And what a beautiful day it is here in paradise no cloud in the sky and the wind is very minimal i see the white led lights pretty bright i don't see the red led light in the rear however so this is speed number one okay let's go ahead and hit speed number two 
gotten a little bit faster. Oh, kind of, what is this? Kind of a jerky motion here. It's doing something I haven't done. Look at that. Oh, look at this. What is going on? Okay. It did some jerky motion like I got disconnected. But it is back. So this is speed number two. And let's go to speed number three. All right. So it's a very mild quadcopter. And it's got brushed motors. So something like this. Yeah, it's got some kind of a jerky motion here. Maybe I'm not doing the yaw correctly. <laughs> there we go. It is behaving much better now. Okay. Maybe there is a slight interference with the Wi-Fi phone app on that 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, a lot of clock ups did have that. So there you go, speed number three. It's pretty decent. Now if you are a seasoned pilot, yeah, you're gonna be looking at this quad copter going, eh, I can get this for maybe like a friend or something or a child that is wanting to get into the hobby. Now this is not for somebody who has already done some flying and already own quadcopters and especially with brushless motors you don't want to get something like this this is purely for a beginner so let's go ahead and check out the flips there you go right side flip and let's bring it back here closer forward flip left side flip and let's bring it back the wind is kind of blowing it away from me it will be oops I was trying to do a back flip but it did a left flip instead so there you go second try with the back flip all right so all of the flips can be had here now let's see I'm gonna hit the one key to land and bring it down there we go one key to land works as well so let's go ahead and check it out once again one key to take off so everything is working pretty good so far just kind of little jerky motion now right about here I'm gonna hit the return to home and it should start coming back but it is fighting the wind so it's actually going that way I'm gonna get out of the return to home let's go ahead and recalibrate this thing okay bring it down here okay motors turned off it's facing that way so if i'm over there and i hit the return home it should come straight back towards me so i'm gonna calibrate the gyros once again that'll calibrate the heading as well so one kid will take off and let's push it out right about here and then hit the return home yeah it is trying to come back but the wind is just pushing it so it's kind of veering to the left so it is working so there is re return to home for you and let's check out the headless mode here yep headless mode is, seems to be working pretty good yep quadcopter is in a complete yaw spin and i'm able to pull it and push it away from me and let's go to the left in a spin how does it do that it's amazing huh there you go and the remote control is constantly sending out a beep and let's get out of the Re, uh, headless mode there I was gonna say return home so there you go most of the functions are working really nicely so we checked out all three speeds return to home headless mode and all directional flips can be had so very nice so let's see if we can do some FPV let's go ahead and sit down over here and check out the old iPad and there I am quadcopter is drifting away let's go ahead and come towards myself here Oh, oh, come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> the clock up to wants to land. Nope, I kind of lost control of it. I had to walk towards it. So not the very best control distance on this one. And I think what I'm feeling is that I'm getting a little bit of an interference is what it is with the Wi-Fi connection and the remote controls 2.4 gigahertz 
connection. So there you go. So it's not going to be an accurate FPV flyer if you want to practice some Wi-Fi FPV. It's just a point and shoot. There you go. Going over me. Turning around. Going the other way. So you don't want to go too far. So let's check out the distance here. I mean the antennas are fake antennas. So let me go up in altitude a little bit and see if I can still yaw. I'm going to go headless mode. Yeah, I lost control already right here. Let me get out. Well, let me get back in and pull it towards me. See, it's coming back towards me. Check it out. Doesn't matter which way it's facing, you can bring it back. And there you go. Now let me get out. All right, so not a very good flyer with Wi-Fi. So I think this one could benefit from a Wi-Fi repeater, like the Xiaomi Yi Mi or Yi Wi-Fi repeater. That's a 2.4 gigahertz. So that could be used to enhance the distance of the Wi-Fi video. There we go. But for a beginner, this is nice. This is not bad. There you go. Circle me. <laughs> I think you can fly this thing indoors since it is such a light quadcopter. And it's got brushless motors. It's got foldable props. So if you hit something, it's not going to do a lot of damage especially yourself or anything else for that matter but if you got a brushless motor quadcopter did i say brushed or brushless in the beginning yeah this one has brushed motors so if you got like a brushless motor quadcopter you know the motors are a lot stronger even though it has foldable props it can still do a lot of damage so something like this is perfect for a beginner so they don't hurt anything hurt themselves or any property and if you come out to a wide open area to practice you know you're not going to damage anything except for the quack up if you crash it somehow but it's got foldable arms foldable props so there's another little jerky motion there yeah once in a while i'm getting interfered with but the flight time seems to be pretty decent I think I've flown for over 11 minutes probably and I'm still able to do flips so we're not in LVC and the lights are still solid very hard to fly very gently because of the jerky motion okay there you go I'm directly into the Sun okay learn from experience get away from the Sun okay there we go taking some sights a gentle yaw perhaps there we go Another little jerky motion there. Oh wow. Nice flight time. Oh, I see the lights are blinking now. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. The lights are blinking. So you should bring it in for a landing. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it in for a landing. You can still fly for a little while longer, but that kind of depletes the battery too much and you know you do damage the battery in that manner so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in and call it right here so that'll be the flight time of the NH525 all right guys so here we go for a second flight I got the second battery in here it is nice that you are provided with two batteries so let's go ahead and power this up white LEDs in the front blinking red LED in the rear blinking 
but this time we don't have the hard remote I'm gonna fly it with my phone here so let me go ahead and get into my phone's settings and in the Wi-Fi section of the settings and there you go I'm connected to the Wi-Fi 4k network and starting the app hopefully I can do it this way turn it upside down and there we go let me go ahead and screen record right away <laughs> there we go so as you can see we got the calibrate and we got the start so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the calibrate and the lights are blinking and they have turned solid so we have done the gyro calibration so let's go ahead and hit start that should bring us into the Wi-Fi FPV and there we go we got Wi-Fi FPV what we got is a back arrow we got the camera the video icon and we got a S uh, icon I believe that is like a flight planner type of deal so we got also the speed I'm gonna go up in speed to a hundred well I'm not on yet so where you see the off I'm gonna turn it on and that brings up all of the icons the okay here's the flight planner so we can draw whatever line in the quad will follow that line I'm gonna go up to a hundred and there's the folder and there's the altitude hold if you turn that off you can't have uh, one kid to take off and land so I'm gonna leave it on and we got the gyro as well and what is this oh you got a zooming <laughs> feature too <laughs> that is pretty cool alright so basically the other stuff is just about nothing there and this one takes you into like a gesture mode and you know split screen mode okay so I'm more interested in flying it with the phone app and doing the gyro alright so let's go ahead and check it out hundred percent so let's see if we can take off here there's a slight more breeze blowing this way now so hopefully we don't get interfered one key to take off and there you go comes to a hover and no hands mom let's go ahead and bring it back hey there you go go up in altitude a little bit and look at that you can control this thing with your phone and it's not that bad do some yaw and come forward this way please there you go it's fighting the wind and it is fighting the wind you know these quad cutters with the staggered motors usually fly better backwards see what I'm saying yeah and there we go flying it with the phone app Let's go ahead and check out the gyro mode and see if I can fly this thing with the tilting action of your phone or your device for that matter. There you go, coming backwards. Let me yaw a little bit. So we come backwards this way, going forwards. Yeah, gyro works pretty decent. Going to the left and going to the right. So far, so good. And there's no interference because I don't have my hard remote turned on so I think that's what it was phone app turned on at the same time as the hard remote is turned on so there you go gyro mode for you and let me get out of the gyro mode and let's check out the flight planner where I draw line and it'll follow that line but you know what the line gets completed really fast so you got to keep drawing a line if you want it to move and it's not moving so let me get out and use my virtual sticks to bring it in yeah the flight planner kind of sucks it doesn't work very well but the virtual sticks work pretty good as well as the gyro mode so that is pretty cool fly the quad copter with your phone so you don't even have to bring your hard remote with you when you go somewhere but you know you always have your phone so you can fly your drone with your phone which is very nice all right so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in for a landing here okay and I'm just going to manually decrease the throttle and slowly bring it in for a landing and come on 
make it on the landing pad please there we go and emergency stop turns off the motors I want to go ahead and hit the on button and it turns off the virtual sticks so I'm now disconnected with the quadcopter because I want to reconnect with the hard remote and what I'm going to do real quick is go ahead and stop all the recordings there we go stop the screen recording and I never did start the video recording on the device so I'm gonna go ahead and kill the app I'm gonna get out of the Wi-Fi turn off the Wi-Fi completely on my phone and also just in case I'm still connected here hello okay going to go into my yeah look at that on my Wi-Fi on my iPad I'm connected as well so you could have two devices connected at the same time I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi completely on my iPad so we don't have any interference with the Wi-Fi phone apps 2.4 gigahertz so calibration and one key to take off so I'm gonna fly it with the hard remote this time without any other devices interfering so there we go so now we can enjoy flying the quadcopter just with the hard remote as it was meant to be there we go I believe that is speed number one yeah speed number two here yeah it seems to be a whole lot better oh oh, oh wait a minute <laughs> I take that back <laughs> did you see that jerky motion <laughs> there what the heck is that I was so sure that that was gonna be the interference from the phone <laughs> but it reappeared on me <laughs> made me a liar so let's go and check it out here I still got control and yeah I still got control pretty decent control so let's go ahead and push it out because that's where the wind is blowing or very slight breeze and I still got control I'm still yawing a little bit it's a little bit in a spin but I'm still controlling the quadcopter basically there we go jerky motions and everything but look at that I didn't have to go chase after it so there you go I'm gonna push it this way now continuing to push it so right now that's about good I don't know about 50 meters no and now I don't have control over it so I'll have to go closer to it because it's slowly coming down and let me throttle up throttle up come on throttle up yeah there you go I got control back which way are you facing <laughs> orientation there you go going to the left and it is slowly coming back towards me it still has that jerky motion sort of once in a while it goes in and out so not the very best control distance on this one even without the phone app turned on so very basic quadcopter you don't want to go too far or you will lose it so keep it close to you for a beginner to practice controlling the transmitter there you go all right so let me go ahead and bring it in and call it a day for the NH525 so that'll be it for this video well thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time yeah make it right in the center come on now there we go all right